Yeah, for the past six, seven years, we've been to Cape Town, and uh, you always meet the same people down there. Kevin, Yuri, sometimes. We had one day in Cape Town where we all hooked up, me, Kevin, and Yuri. We were sitting by the shipwreck and trying to plan our winter. We really wanted to do something different to explore the world. Come so far, feel so real. All this time. trip to me means quite a lot you know it's a pretty big uh, big thing I think it's just a big dream to travel with your two good friends around the world and pick the best spots you've always been dreaming about the last time I was on a road trip with a big group was in 2004 so about seven years ago I used to travel with Yuri quite a bit you know in the beginning and uh, but now we're uh, you know fighting against each other in the real tour which is uh, 
yeah, pretty sick. And, uh, you know, there's always a bit of rivalry between us. And I think it's a good thing. It keeps us sharp and it keeps me and probably Yuri super motivated as well. I think we know each other for almost 10 years. Yeah, nine, 10 years. I was 14 and that year there was a Dutch championship on my home spot and he won that year. I said to my dad, one day I'm gonna stand there as well. Two really good kiters and uh, me going together on a trip. That's a good combination. Nick is uh, a crazy guy. I don't know, he, that guy scares me most of the time, you know? He's like, when we arrive at a new spot, the first thing he does is look at a cliff or something big that he can jump off. I'll do anything for you. Anything you want me to. It's always been, like my whole life is always a bit of a competition, you know? It's, uh, it already started from a young age, like with stupid stuff. I've, I always want to be first. I know there's something in me that it's hard to describe what it is, but I think, uh, and then of course, if you're out there, you know, you and I have been competing a, a lot against each other. Fuck, you want to win. Kevin and me were rivals, actually. Kevin was world champion in 2009, I'm in 2011, so. Of course, on the water we want to be the best and win over each other. They're really into competition, both of them, and uh, I'm not. So I think with a different mindset and everything, I can loosen them up a little bit.
get to travel, you know, pretty much all around the world. And uh, on this trip, we could basically, uh, yeah, pick our dream spot. It's not about finding the best freestyle spot and stay there for the whole trip. It's, it's more like a road trip, discovering new places, beautiful places that are nice to watch, and that's the main goal for this trip. And we'll sing Galilee, we'll sing Reverie, dance for the broken, break these chains. We'll sing of wrongs and lies and alibis. We'll take a chance and start again. Three guys, grab some beers, have a barbecue. Then you get a discussion and then in the end, you just end the discussion with a razor in your head and well, you end up like this. Tijd is een haar op je hoofd. Oh, no, you're starting, you're in. <laughs> is that okay? Yeah, that looks really good. <laughs> After shaving his head, he has two personalities. It's Nick and Hank. Double handle passes. <laughs> if he does, like, uh, a double spin on a wave. <laughs> I think Kevin is, uh, yeah, he's a cool guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's even worse, dude. The weather system here in Chile is, is quite difficult um, because the land is quite warm and the water is really cold and this creates a, a kind of cloud deck on the horizon and um, it kind of seems like it's blocking the wind and sometimes it just clears out and then you go wind. <laughs> 